right, welcome to another episode yes. of Adrian and Julie's podcast. Adrian, <laughs> Whichever way, interchangeable, yeah. interchangeable. Uh, so, have you heard of this trend, Adrian, which is girlfriends staying at home on TikTok? No, tell me about it. So, basically, it is about. So, you've heard of stay at home wives? Yes. These are girlfriends okay. who document their day to day of staying at home on TikTok. Okay. Yeah, it's become a bit of a viral trend. So, they're not married, they don't have kids. Oh. They're literally just stay at home. Oh, they have boyfriends, though. They have boyfriends, yes, yes. yes, yeah. Stay at home and they make things for the boyfriend yeah like lady of leisure they kind of record what they do day to day their spending habits what they get up to and it's really like just a trend yeah you know like stay it's good if they felt like they find enjoyment out of it and happiness out of doing that why not this is true this is true this is the first time i've come across the term stay at home girlfriend though yeah that's true never heard of it before instead of like there's wives stay at home Mm -hmm. wives you stay at home husbands so this is like taking it to another level where you know people in their 20s they're just deciding to be stay at home yeah wouldn't even be a spouse it would be like a stay at home girl girl you're staying at home you're staying as at long, home i think i'm i'm okay with the trend as long as it's not oppressive to the women that's true they don't look oppressed yeah. that's the thing as yes. long as they voluntarily want to stay at home to be there. and the worry for me in this kind of situation has always been i'm such a feminist that if um, the women, the men get used to it and then started felt possessive about it and then if the women decided to, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, yeah, this is and true. Out, yes, yes, and yes. And then the men started being like, oh, f*** that. Or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <Beep> that. <laughs> um, you know, and like, you know, I'm not happy with you going out. I'm not happy with you socialising with other people because they're so used to seeing Oh, it's the control, yes. socialising. Yes, yes. Right? Like, you know, yeah. sometimes men being creature of habit or people, I guess, being creature of habit, mm. people being creature of habit, I should say, that it, it, change sometimes doesn't do well. I don't know. You know yes, it's yes, yes. like what, well. what happens if, like, down the track they decide, change. look, I'm going to work. Yeah. I am through with being a stay-at-home oh, so wait, girlfriend. They're not working. They're not. No, this is oh, what so they do. Full on state. They're full. full I guess full they can make money from social media. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, so a few of their see, accounts see, are see. kind of getting bigger so they just stay at home and just document what they do but but no children no 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 children no marriage yeah yeah Um, Yeah. okay okay that's interesting Mm. yeah 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 so that's the bit as long as the partner whether it be men or women knows that it's their choice they do what they want to do and then yes they can change if they want to I'm good. I'm you, good you're for it? Yes. <laughs> it's quite... Well, TikTok is saying... Well, they're always kind of talking about the economy and, econ- yeah. you know, forecasting for the economy. Yeah. So I wanted to get your thoughts on being a TikToker, a, mm. someone in the creator community. Yeah. Do you feel like the squeezing or the tightening up mm. of recession, recession talk? Yeah. So, so this is a good question, right? Because obviously we, as someone who's living in this world, are aware that inflation are happening. Not mm. only that, it's talked a lot yeah. in the media. Yeah. We can see it in our bills. Oh, right? yeah. We can like see it in our... Going to Woolies or Coles. Exactly. Yeah. And Woolies. I can't say the other one. Yes. And then... <laughs> Woolies. <laughs> and then, and then um, uh, petrol, like, yeah. you know, literally everything gone up. Even, like, when you do renovation or fixing stuff, I was just fixing my roof and then the price literally almost doubled how much is the it quote, the quote was originally uh 1800 and ended up paying almost four or five grand. yeah right right um, right because Two. i didn't do it nine months ago yep. or a year ago almost yeah um which is crazy but yeah as a as a creator it's interesting maybe i am blessed that i am still a relevant or relevant enough content mm-hmm. creators mm-hmm. that in terms of agency for brands that are coming to me are still steady yes but now that we've talked about this prior to this mm-hmm. podcast but now that i've given it more thoughts maybe it is true because in the past um brands big brands mm. would go and uh canvas a large group of content creators yes. well now now that i think about it I think they only go with like less than five less right than yeah so, so okay yeah because usually it's just me and mm. one or two or about three others mm-hmm. two of which 
are also currently relevant and yes. I know them very much and mm-hmm. we always get the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, usually only one or two more where brands would experiment. Because I feel like as a brand, you always come up with... The, Your teas, right? Different teas. And the tears mm-hmm. and also um, the one that the one that are they, they deem to be relevant and the one they deem to be experimental. Like, you ah, know, yes, yes, they, yes. They could yes. be small, they could be micro, because yes. there's like micro, micro, whatever. Um, but they are willing to Exp- pa- to put that yes the bet and on. see if the content that they create yeah. are actually will resonate genuine and yeah. will resonate right so yeah so that that pool of people that are more um, risque for the brand mm-hmm. S- mm-hmm. not risque risk risky seems to be smaller now that I think about right, it after right, right. I chat about yes, twenty yes. minutes ago yeah um, yeah so that's a very good question but yeah for me I'm blessed that I haven't felt that yeah it's very interesting because i was just scrolling on youtube and Mm. seeing you know a lot of um, finance videos talking about the recession Mm. talking about if you're a content creator because you know you how you can go down the rabbit hole of okay wow there's recession but what if we look at the recession in inside the creator economy and what is it doing and so a lot of um, you know, these big organizations are saying you should prepare for that. Yeah. It's something that you should consider. Um, and it's interesting that you mentioned the fact that if you're a smaller creator or, you know, more risky to a brand because you're yeah. just starting up, um, that they're less likely to take bets on you. Yeah. Um, as yeah. opposed to someone who's well established. Who's established. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Established was the word I was looking for. But actually, that would be a good question to ask the small content creators who in the past do get jobs like yeah you know, yeah cool people that i could ask and then we could, we could well even if you're them. listening to the podcast like you know yeah. s- let, us oh, know. Yeah, let us know yeah let us know with the comment below, below. <laughs> <laughs> yes we'll We're definitely get back <laughs> we'll definitely get back but you know it's it's interesting to see how it's like different horses for different courses mm. and you know everyone's idea of um what content should they pivot the content yeah. um to make it more relevant as to what's happening in the wider economy mm. Yes. Um, you know, we've all heard of quietly quitting. Oh, yes, the term yes. quietly quitting. But then now people I are think saying, I'm genuinely seeing that in a lot of the people that I know. But um, wouldn't that freak you out if you quietly? Oh, yeah. But I guess you're quietly quitting, so you're not exactly quitting. Yeah, you're yeah. just quietly it's not the, you know, stepping. Because the, the, the one before quietly quitting was the big. What is it? The, yeah, the big the, resignation. Yes, the like resignation. That, right? Yeah, the great um, resignation. But the quietly quitting. I feel like it's almost like some people don't even realize they're quietly quitting. <laughs> <laughs> like some of them that I know, like you know, they just. I don't know, maybe because of the stress of COVID, or they just yeah. tune out. Yes. They just tune out. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I'm kind of working in the space of a lot of editorial, mm. um, you know, people in, in media mm. and, like, particularly the news set. And mm. it's kind of like, yeah, they've had, like, two really big years of COVID. Yeah. Plus a lot of new stories, what's happening with Russia, what's happening with the, you know, what's happened with the Queen. Mm. And it's like, yeah, you've got these, like, three big, back-to-back news years yeah. and then it's like yeah they're really tired tired okay. I was <laughs> you know, waiting where going with this tired. Okay, yeah. tired no they're tired yeah yeah yes, yeah tired of, but you know and then you get the flip side of you know what we talk about yeah. and what we love and we're so passionate about is this creator economy mm. where it just seems like it it is in, a, in abundance right yeah. do you, you know a sense of like if things are growing it's evolving it's innovating there's lots of um new places and areas to go yeah yeah definitely a lot of things that a lot of content creators don't know that uh if a company asks you to use your content you gotta charge them don't don't let them use it for free. It's your work. Right, <laughs> right, right. right for it. Yeah. So the minute they ask, hey, can we, can we get, oh, so this is so common. Like, can we use your video to post on ours? Like, yeah. okay, you got to pay me. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Your, you got the user rights. Work, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right. Um, so, because yeah. they can use that theoretically in perpetuity. Yes. Or do you have like clauses as to how many times so you can use it? So my question would be how long. Yeah. Okay. How long is yeah. the user right? You want to be, whether it be a month or six months or whatever. And then um, the price will vary. Depends on that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah and then the, the 
club themselves and then the others as well like you know if you ever travel let us know and then we're, we will let you know what's available uh, what, what content you can make so yeah so I'm traveling to Japan at the end of the year mm-hmm. oh my god it's so expensive but the it's forced leave like you know how this company has yeah forced yeah forced leave, leave yeah you gotta take it so I gotta I don't wanna be here I wanna be trying elsewhere yeah elsewhere. yeah so, and especially because Japan's been locked up for so long exactly. too yeah. exactly well, it's funny about that actually because Japan's locked up and then I, I'm Indonesian I have to apply for visa so um, the visa booking system is packed and then yesterday they email everyone and says, hey, 63 countries now free to travel without visa. And then something now is all available. Oh, that's so good, right? That's so like nervous. such a relief. Because I booked yeah, a ticket yeah. before I got a visa. I thought I would not be able to get a visa. I thought it would be so tight. It would yes. be so tight for me when I get the visa. And then, and then when you go, yes, yes, yeah. that's right. But anyway, so the way it works with travel companies, they usually say, okay, um, even during COVID, I know that some kind of creators who, who are able to Travel, um, travel yeah. to places that were not able to travel as a tra- as a holiday mm-hmm. tourist yeah. are able to work with the company to do a business travel. They yes. sponsor them to business travel. Yeah, and then right. they will say, okay, we want you to experience this and this and this. Oh, actually, we want you to choose from mm-hmm. 30 experiences oh, who are quite right, popular right, right. or some that they want to push. Yes. And then um, you choose. So it's what you are interested in, mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. that you know they dictate you. Yeah. Never. And then um, we will provide it for free, and then you just they will say we wanted to make three contacts for them or four or five. So if I, for example, go to a Universal Studio and they sponsor me to go there, and then not pay but just gift me the the a ticket, mm-hmm. and then I make ten contacts out of Universal yeah. Studio because there's so many things in there, and then one of it I'll just have to say that I booked it with Cloak, and then with that one if they decided to use it at there, and then they'll pay me. So I just love it. I love like the options that they yeah. give as well because oh. it's not like if you want to go to see a cement factory, yeah. it's like this is universal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's really good that it's. I would go to a Japanese cement factory. <laughs> <laughs> we would go anywhere Japan. involving Japan. I yeah. have a feeling it will be fascinating. Yeah. Japan any yeah, any, any factory systemization with Japan, <laughs> it would be um, state of the art. It's just funny. Um, factory systemization in japan like um they have it ready for tourists as well like, you know they're always, oh, they're so japanese like, you can always it, yeah. go there and experience it as a tourist that's insane in yeah. almost any ramen whatever like any like you yeah. know mochi like i don't know which is whatever right? anyway but yeah i went on tangent but yeah basically that's how it works so they luckily with cluck they are so this is not sponsored by no, this is- <laughs> Like, they're, so, they're so vast in yeah. provision of what they do, like accommodation, experiences, food, spas, massage, whatever, that it's great for us content creators, then we can literally choose what we want to do. What That's, we would have done. Would have done anyways. Have done they're taking out the, the legwork yeah. of like having to then go out. Yeah. Um, you know, and produce it yourself. Where you yeah. contact, you know, Universal. So it's a win-win. We contact. It's yeah. it's they're making they they're making the experience so much um, more seamless. Yeah. And it's quite fascinating because when I was working back, you know, in TV, yeah. what would happen was as a producer, you would you know find the stories that you want to do, mm-hmm. and then we would have like Flight Center, which yeah. would be yes. our go to. Yes. But Flight Center, like this is so clunky, right? Yeah. And you know, back in the day yeah. of how we used to do it, you go to Flight Center, they'd have some contra deal that mm. you do with you know, Webjet or Mm. one of the um, airlines. And then once you're there, then separately you have to go and organize the trip. So through Universal or if you're chatting with someone, even like... Reimbursement or... Yeah, then you get it reimbursed. They've got a contra deal. So um, they would, you know, you'd set up a network deal where you have X amount of flights to wherever you want to go. And then we'd say, you know, proudly sponsored by Webjet or, you know, um, whichever airline, Virgin. Yeah. but you would have to do a lot of legwork in booking then, you know, the bullet train yes. and then you have to book it. It seems like um, oh, these agencies well, now... Well, one is the one-stop shop. Wow. Like, that's, you just, yeah. you know, just start planning your trip. That's amazing, shop. yeah. I mean, even I'm thinking about before, like even with Avis, booking the car rental, booking, yeah. you know, as a producer, you book the flights, you book the cars, you book the hotels, the accommodation. Yeah. Everything is so separate. But this is so clever because it's exactly what you would do anyways, yeah. but they make it so much easier for you. Exactly. Well, I feel like I should make a content about just that, what you just said just now. 100%. <laughs> yeah. You should. Like, when even you're talking with you. 
<laughs> Even what we were like talking about, you know, back how it makes it so seamless. Mm. It's so easy, yeah. you know, like to be able to then go, okay, I'm going to Japan, but then I have all this content ready to go. And um, it's, it's that seamlessness of yeah. okay well it's getting ready it's getting done i'm having things and it's booked x y and z yeah. here there and everywhere so as a content um creator how often do you have to plan ahead do you kind of leave say your it's november different. december open or do you kind of book it out a lot of pr agencies or agencies in general they work on a last minute time. basis yeah yeah if they'd be like contacting you oh we need it in three days yeah, or yeah. we need it in four days yeah so there are i reckon 30 percent mm-hmm. it would be like it's for next month yeah 70 percent is for the next within the next couple of weeks yes yes so yeah so you have varies. that kind of set that window of yeah. like okay this is you, you leave it open and then it starts filling up like two weeks in advance, three weeks in Usually advance? Usually I am booked out like two, three weeks in advance. Oh. But if a, a big global conglomerate, mm-hmm. like suddenly like you're contacting Comes me up. for a campaign that they're doing, um, I'm always open to fitting in it. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes to, I can do it like it. at 11 weeks. Yeah, I'll go out. Yeah, you'll find the time. Usually yeah. this global conglomerate. I'll you'll be in your hoodie. Hours. You know which one that we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, and then I'd do it. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Especially if they're well loved. I know that, you know, like. Well, I mean, getting. Well loved. Yeah, that's right. And getting back to it all. Like, isn't it all about like how it resonates with your audience, yeah. right? And how does the t- travel content resonate? Do they love it? Like, do you. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Uh, in the past. It's a hit and miss. Um, growth seems to be stunted in Instagram for me. Yeah. But on TikTok, it's the opposite. It's continuously growing. Yeah. But in, t- in, in Instagram, it still did really well, the content. So it's, uh, it's confusing. It's confusing. Yeah. It's so confusing that I've even chatted at length with the platform itself. So like my, literally my growth was just literally like like a mountain on the cliff going down the minute I landed on the other country. Yeah. Like yeah, is yeah. the algorithm knowing that I'm not in Australia anymore and oh, just yes, stop right. the growth, but not stop the view because I'm still getting millions and millions but of But you're not getting things. the followers the like followers as you like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. While uh What about the, the engagement? I landed. Yeah, Sorry. the engagement's no no issue. Yeah, no yeah, issue. Yeah, it's yeah. just the, the growth. It's just the growth. And then the minute I landed in, in Australia it's like it's Ah, like, oh, so it knows. Going on, right? so, like, for TikTok, yeah. it's steady. Like, oh, okay, it's it's steady, but it's just the Instagram that you have the yeah. up, like. For YouTube, dis- did okay. Mm. It's not bad. Facebook it was okay as well. So yeah. I wonder what would happen if you opened it up while you're in Australia to keep it open, and then you go on your phone. So that, would it get super confused? Like you leave it open, say on your computer. So you open Instagram, you leave it open, yeah. then you're traveling. Yeah. Because then it would read two different regions. Of course, I experimented when I'm overseas that I um, turn on the VPN mm, mm. to Sydney. Like, and yeah. then to see that, you know, I fake myself in Sydney, but still yeah. nothing works. It, like, oh. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, the one, yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. It's, mm. it's. Algorithm is the biggest mystery of the world. It's the new god. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the millennial god. <laughs> and do you find Gen-Z like god. do do you find as a shorts creator that you have a lot more kind of power because shorts is like the latest thing. Mm. I'm reading a lot that a lot of Instagrammers, a lot of people who deal in long form co- content mm-hmm. are kind of a bit stressed out because shorts is like a new skill that they have to pick up. Mm. Whereas you're kind of working from a position of you've got the, the shorts, shorts with, yeah. down and pat. I want to do long form and I'm yeah. struggling. <laughs> but yeah, for shorts, easy. You know, I just to what I do, um, which is my, my forte, is yeah. micro content. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is a struggle switching from, you almost need a whole team. If you want to have existence on all of this platform, mm-hmm. at multi from different format of content, whether it be micro or long form, yeah. you need a whole team. <laughs> to, <laughs> you, to do it, yeah. To, to do it well. <laughs> yes. So that's why I engage a video uh, editor, like, it, yeah. like you do as mm-hmm, well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's difficult like it's yeah so do you it as a one man band or yeah, a one woman band it's quite interesting or so one non binary band <laughs> sorry <laughs> well it, 
with your shorts, are there like three takeaways that you definitely have to do to get a, a short popping? Like, yeah. do you have to, because I can speak of long form because yeah. that's like my background yeah. features. A lot of, you know, a lot of feature packages, a lot of long format. Yeah. I guess with shorts um, or micro content in general, for me, the one thing that you need to, well, three, you mm-hmm. said three, right? Mm-hmm. So number one would definitely be you need to start with either showing what you want to show overall. Yes. Or else people would not wonder. People need to expect it yeah. or need to know what they expect. Yeah. Um, or it does, you don't have to necessarily show it, but you can say it or the robot voice can say it, yeah. whatever it is, mm-hmm. right? And then number two, it needs to be snappy. Mm-hmm. It can't. You can't have... You need to rewatch your content, and if there's any lull, if your there's brain there's no lull, yeah, if your brain don't think allow lull, the brain to lull, you need to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, like, right. Because if your brain lulling, the ninety nine point nine percent of the human being will lull too. Yeah. Um, and then number three would be just keep it short, like yeah, literally. short, it's like ten seconds, thirty seconds. If you are not shorts. telling a story, yeah. you have to keep it short. If yeah. you're showing something, mm-hmm. you have to keep it short. Yeah. Unless there is a story behind it, and you're keeping people. Engaged, grip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can go as long as you want it to be. Yeah. But even that, there is an art form in telling a story. In telling, yeah, yeah. In kind of like hooking in the end, yeah. doing like give the meat. Keeping people attention yeah, is the most the, difficult in the world. Yeah, keeping it, keeping it, you know. Succinct. <laughs> succinct. To the point, to, to the, the point. point. Um, to the point and succinct and always hitting the mark is Blackpink. They have, as our final... Thing. Um, yes. This, <laughs> yes, the second album. Yes, can't wait. I know. So, do you feel like the fans have a strategy to kind of keep them always on the mark? Because I think they're like going to be the, the most. The, the, the production. Oh, the, the company. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's a combination of both. I think they, the company did so well, and the fans obviously are diehard fans. But do you know that? This year or next year is their last year, their seventh no, year. No, I'm not contract. hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Yeah. No, as in, okay. no, as in, yeah, I'm yeah. into so dial. It's their last year contract with YG, was it? I think their company. Oh. So from then on, they can they can, they can be, be free agents. Or yeah. they can be free agents, they can sign with someone else. So. Any like hints as to what they're going to do? No, 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 yeah. But seven it's going to be. Yeah, it's it'll amazing. be. Easy. They're like. Uh, I can't believe it's been icon. seven years. It feels like it was yesterday that they have right. kind of been on this There's trajectory. Like work. <laughs> yeah, they that you know, yes. But I feel like it. It feels like you two of like what should be, right? So what usually happens? Do they extend it if you're like a K-pop band? It depends on how happy they are. Yes. With the company, uh, I because they've I been able to do a lot of solo projects. That's the thing. In YG, I believe there's only one that. Well, maybe a couple, but there's only one I know that still remains with them. Right. SM, like Super Super so, Junior, yeah, still remains. Yeah, the Super Junior set, yeah. It's been like 20 years or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's not a lot stays, they, right? Yeah. Um, but I wonder what will they do with life, whether, will, whether they want to be solo artists, because they're already yes. coming up with solo songs. Solo stuff, or yeah. Or whether they want to pivot to become a, a movies or TV series, kind of like. Because right yeah. now, Jenny... Rosie just got a HBO series. Oh, on um, her what the one on that their... Euphoria is making a new series, and Jenny or, or Rose, one of them, is going to be in it. Right, as an actor, actress, an actor. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In HBO. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. And then obviously, Lisa is like, yeah, like everywhere, queen of the yeah, yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love that when I was watching that um, Celine <laughs> show because um, Lisa Tayong or V. And uh, Park Bogum, they all came. They're all the ambassador mm-hmm. of Celine, and they all arrived. And yeah. literally, it's like Jesus arrived. <laughs> it's the coming. It's like the, it's like the into- It's just erupted. <laughs> Well, yes. they're like a class celebrity, and they don't really care for them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just the three of it. They went insane. They're like in Paris, yeah, like yeah, yeah. blew up, and yeah. then um, when they set. Like, literally, they sat under the lights while the other sat under the shadows. That's what I noticed. Oh, did like, they? I love like, it. Like, deliberate seating. Like Selin even know that these Asians are the highlights. <laughs> I just, I, as an and now Asian, for the lights. As an Asian, I find that amazing. Isn't like, it like, it's, like, it's, it's like so trans... Yeah, it, yeah, that's right. It's so transformative, isn't it? The, the power of 
um, the internet and yeah. the the market, you yeah. know, like it's so true. Marketing. When, yeah, marketing, <laughs> but the market as well, yeah. like the market doesn't care yeah. what, you know, it's, it's not blinded by anything. It just is blinded by the data and the numbers and the support, yeah. which, um, you know, Blackpink has in droves of like the, the huge support. Exactly. And I just find it fascinating that oh, obviously because um, Lisa is, well, the thing is, Southeast Asia is big with Korean anyway. Yes. But the fact that Lisa is Southeast it's Asia. Thai, yeah. Like, it's, it's like, she's huge in Southeast Asia. She's yeah. like the empress. Like. <laughs> she, she would be. So who, if you were to do like a popularity poll, would you say Jenny and Lisa, Lisa would be like globally, mm. what do you think? Like in terms uh, of the impact? I wouldn't say, I, I don't know. You like, wouldn't know, I wouldn't right? I get the blink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the bottom. <laughs> It's what like the mafia. Uh, so who's the most powerful asked, crime family? Um, because I not sure. my niece, like she can sing all of them. And I asked like, which one of your, yeah, yeah. I think your favourite? And she was like, Johnny. Yeah, well, yeah. Are you like the New Zealander? <laughs> the New Zealander. <laughs> whoever, whoever she likes, she likes the New Zealander. I'm like, you don't like the Australian girl? Yeah, oh, yeah, the Aussie. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. Because Rose, she's, Rose, yeah, Rosé. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, goodness. We can talk all day long about that. Um, but yes, I think. 